Good afternoon. My name is David Knox. I have MSA. And you asked how I was doing. Well, I just got back from a trip to Walmart, um, walking, driving, picking up things, carrying. And my voice is a little agitated because that's what happens in MSA, that the tremors show either in our hands and legs and you know, facial expressions or, or even in our vocal cords like it is right now. But you asked, how am I doing? And just to show you this morning, I woke up and went to Walmart. So let me show you real quick exactly what I mean when I say I, I'm feeling good. This is this is me walking to my uh, SUV this morning. And normally, I would never walk across the grass that much. And this one, I'm walking in a straight line, very good steps, long strides, concrete, dirt, to SUV. And you can also see I get into my vehicle very well. Now I I did I did double double clutch that I actually had to get my cell phone out of my back pocket. But there's a lot of times where I would double clutch, triple clutch, you know, try to get into my truck, I, and I can't because initiating the movement was really hard. And that one you saw is, is is right in there, completely fine. So also coming back from the store after I made quite quite a few trips around the store. <laughs> Um, I, they messed up my prescription, so I had to I had to go back a couple couple of times. So I just just got back a little a minute ago, and I want you to, I want to show you something a little bit fascinating. I still drive. I mean, you know, I've told you that before. There's there's no no new new news to that, but I drive very well. I would say vehicles with large tires, wide tires, help you drive better. It helps, the, the wider the, the tires, the more expensive they are, the, the, the better you stay in your lane. And here I am doing pretty good. I, I, didn't, I didn't hit no grass or anything like that, but my hand-eye coordination is, is still very well. And I, I noticed on this trip, I, I wasn't even uh, going in and out of the lanes. Normally I'm bouncing back and forth, kind of like walking down the hallway. In this case, I actually, I actually wasn't, which is really interesting. Um, of course, we'll speed that up for a second, but let's see here. We walk, uh, open the door, there you go, we're in park. We're going to get the groceries out. Normally, I, don't, I can't carry weight. And I, and I bought two gallons of milk and a whole bunch of snacks. I've been, I've been stealing some snacks from my daughter. daughter. <laughs> so I, I bought some snacks to uh, re replace it. And I think I can actually zoom in, maybe. Yeah, yeah close enough. And I'm going to do it, what all men do. One trip into the house. This is the first time I've tried this in a long time. I mean, at least a year. At least a year I've tried this. Three bags, two prescriptions, two gallons of milk. Now you gotta make sure you get all your stuff right because you don't want to drop anything. Because remember, the, the the man code states only one trip into that house from the, the vehicle for groceries. <laughs> As I taught my children, and we stick to it. We get one trip, and that's it. There's very few exceptions. So we're gonna pick up the groceries here, and I actually grab both gallons of milk with one hand, my right, my my good hand, my right hand, and I, I'm able to reach up. With my bad shoulder, because my, my torn meniscus is the other way, it's, it's backwards and down. I'm able to close the SUV, and I'm walking pretty good with the weight. Pretty good. If that was before, I would be tipping over. I, I would not be able to carry that type of weight. Uh, things would happen. They'd be falling out of my hands. I'm able to open up a door, get into the door, and now I'm just waiting for the door to automatically unlock. I have a wireless, a smart uh, door lock. So I'm waiting for it, it unlocks, and I go in. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding, but this, this is me. You know, has it really uh, changed everything about me? No, this is stem cells. But it, it has changed at least a little bit in, in a lot of areas, in most areas. This is really nice. It's comforting, it's encouraging, and again, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not giving medical advice, but I can't remember the last time I, I two-handed all the full of groceries and bags and got into the house without at least dropping or, or putting things down to get in or tipping over. 
that alone shows progress. And I hope you know, I hope you see it. I want you to see it raw as it happens. Not, you know, not editing things because this is how life is. So definitely it's helping me. I'm going to keep showing you these, these type of things that I have. I think it's important for you to, for you, for your understanding, for your making decisions. If you want to go down and get the same type of treatments or whatever. I mean, think about this for a second. I got IV stem cells, spinal injection stem cells, IV stem cells, and the doctor sent me home with four vials, little bottles, of stem cells to take every Monday for four weeks straight. I just took one yesterday for a second week. He gave me oral stem cells. Now, they're not as great as going to the spine or IV, but they do, they, nonetheless, they do help. He sent me home with four certified vials of stem cells to, to drink. And, you know, it, it says a lot. I, I did not know who this doctor was before I went down there. I had no idea he was, like, the big time in Mexico, <laughs> you know, and what he, did, he does for, for uh, stem cells. It's helping. Is it worth your money and your time and effort and pain and agony like I had? <laughs> That's up to you. But you can tell I feel better. Emotionally, I feel better. I feel, I feel happier on top of the physical. Right? The psychological is it's coming back to me. And I, I'm not saying I was depressed or anything, but this is working. It's doing very well. Even, even if it's just a little bit, it's still helping. So I, help, I hope to see you next video. And again, thank you for watching. And share this if you enjoy it. Like it. Give me comments. I know there's quite a few comments I haven't replied to yet. They're asking about the stem cells and totality and I'm, I'm really waiting I, I don't want to give a, a half-assed answer you know then you know tomorrow everything everything goes back to hell so I'm really waiting a few more days to stretch this out to see how how good it does get you know after a couple of weeks so I will see you next episode and thank you very much